Hey everybody, this is Dal Stone here doing a Let's 3 model episode 58, I believe. Um, <clears throat> episode 58, uh, let's see, you know, I'm going to do my usual. I, I know it's been a, f a few days since I've recorded something, so I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to, you know, give thanks to uh, my new subscribers and such, so uh, thank you, Dream Theory, for your, your uh, subscript for your, for your subscribe for you for subscribing to my channel. Um, Yuri Kondrashov, thank you so much. Uh, Itachi2940, thank you so much for your uh, for subscribing to the channel. And then uh, Game Internship uh, from Twitter for uh, following me on Twitter. So today uh, I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna have some like some background music in case you guys want to listen to music, but I'll also be kind of talking while I'm doing this. Uh, to kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, let's go through my mindset and stuff. So, um, we'll do that a little bit more today. Um, hopefully the music is not too, too loud. Uh, see if I can lower this down a little more. <coughs> I hope that that's better. Lowering it down right now to 50, 50%. So, hopefully, uh, you guys can, can hear me. I should, I should have probably done the test first, but whatever, it's okay. Um. I don't. I have a limited amount of time. I probably can only model for about 40 minutes or so. So, uh, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm not very. You know, this is just like kind of like a get a tree in really quickly, right? Deal here. Um, so obviously this isn't like something that I'm super super proud of. So I need to go back in and and you know keep giving some more love. So I was only able to spend like an hour on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so first off, I'm just going to separate these, right? And this is the, tr the, tr the trunk. So I'm just going to call this the trunk, right? And then all these other ones. So it looks like all these big pieces are already going to be... Okay, so I'm just going to solve this uh, branch. And uh, I should probably just go like this. Like this or I'll just go like this branch <coughs> and then I'll just rename it all um, and then I'll hide all of this uh, or all the all the alpha branches and what I'll do is I'm actually going to um, create some smaller ones so I'm just going to center pivot and uh, just gonna put it into here for now I'm just gonna make some branches uh, just put a wireframe and change it on. Just gonna spin this around here. Just gonna make this look a little bit prettier by adding in some more branches. Just to kind of For these, I want to just delete the insides. I think I have back face calling on, so I'm just going to turn that off. <clears throat> Obviously, my UVs have uh, changed, which is a mistake here. Um, I did have preserved UVs on, but I guess I did have it. Oh no, I did have it on. Interesting. Uh, okay, maybe I need to, 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 to take it off. Okay, let me see what happens if I take it off. No. Okay. It's okay. I'll figure it out. <clears throat> um. I don't think I need all these triangles for these ones, so I can definitely. You know, <clears throat> might have one of these. I'll keep this just for. This definitely doesn't do that that big. And I feel like. I'm definitely not going to need this much, um, this much geo, 
or this much divisions on like these little small branches so I'm just going to go in and I'm gonna collapse these these edges uh, where is that up there merge edges and I'm just gonna collapse edges So there we go. I'm just going to do this a few times just to kind of, like I said, give it some more depth to the tree at least. It needed some more love, so. I, I just was looking at the tree and I was like, man, this is not looking very good. <clears throat> Which is fine. I mean, you're not going to. It's never going to be perfect, but. <clears throat> Let's see here. Merge. Uh, where is that? Transform component. Oh, damn it. Uh, okay. Because right now I've rotated a bunch of weird ways so it's gonna it's gonna do that obviously All right, I can probably you know change up the shape of it here <clears throat> but essentially I'm just gonna be doing that uh, hopefully not this whole video but but by the whole video I should have a nicer looking tree and then th like a nicer looking base tree and then what I'll do is I'll throw it into uh, ZBrush and I'll start sculpting some more shapes into the tree. Uh, so, we'll see. <clears throat> see what I end up doing. I have a feeling that's what I'll probably end up doing. So, already it should be taking up more shape now. I think, you know, uh, pretty soon here I'll be posting up something on, on Polycount about this scene here and then people can start giving me their comments and their feedback, <clears throat> get the community to see it and, and all that, right? Uh, obviously something so rough, like, it's just, it's nerve wracking to put something up that's like so rough onto uh, onto the internet because you know people but it's definitely a habit that I need to get rid of I need to get rid of my fear of what the public's gonna say and get all that critiques and feedback like early and to make the scene look a little bit nicer or whatever <clears throat> I feel like that's just being part of an artist and you know Eventually, I will. Eventually, I will. I'll, I'll get there to the point where I'm comfortable just kind of throwing up stuff. I mean, sometimes it's just hard, right? You're not happy with your work yet. People are already smacking, smacking you down and stuff with the work that you've done. But sometimes it's good because it kind of opens up your eyes and shows you different perspectives. <sighs> this is just me being like pretty organic here. Like there's no shapes that I'm kind of following. Something that I've like started to notice, <clears throat> and uh, my fiance actually pointed this out to me. And I actually didn't even know this. Um, but branches and, and leaves and plants, their branches and stuff kind of levitate towards, uh, or it tries to levitate towards the sun, wherever the sun is. So, I'm trying to follow that right now. I don't know if it's if it's actually true. I never actually looked it up, but <clears throat> I'm just gonna spin this around a bit just to kind of give it a different shape. I feel like 
another one here is needed <coughs> to kind of uh, oh, I think this needs to have a different shape something like that kind of break up the silhouette <coughs> Um, I actually have some references of some trees that I was looking at, so, you know, it's always good to go back to your references and check to see if what you're doing makes sense. Right, and kind of just different silhouettes, I think, is so important. And I think here, I definitely don't have, like, interesting silhouettes, and that's gonna, that makes or breaks what you're doing, for sure, so... I need to kind of somehow change this so that it's a little bit more interesting because at the moment it's definitely not interesting at all. It's very boring. So I might have to So it's time for me to even change this up even more. Branch on branches, you know what I mean? Just to kind of break this up. <clears throat> and here, I'm definitely going to start killing some more. Um, so this is going to be the even smaller branch. So I'm going to really tear this up. So I'm going to collapse this for sure. These, uh, these faces. I'm just trying to select every other one. Now down to 42. <clears throat> and I feel like I should definitely be doing that to all of these ones as well. There we go. There we go. So now it's only like 30. I think already just adding a bunch of these branches, uh, this tree's gonna look a lot better. We'll see. We'll we'll find out. I shouldn't say that before I before I take a look at it, but <clears throat> I think it just holds the shape a little bit better. I'll obviously have to fix a bunch of my alphas or whatever, right? But this should definitely help uh, break things up. I'm thinking I should probably have at least three branches per big branch. So I think that's what I'll probably end up doing here. And to see how right now it's kind of getting lost there. All right, it looks good here. It gets lost here. So I'm just going to kind of pull this out a bit more. Give it a nicer silhouette in all the views. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll put another one like probably right here. That and what I'll do is I'll make it longer. Let's pull it out a bit. Pull this up a bit there. Um, it looks pretty similar to my other one, so uh, maybe I'll pull this back like that. Yeah, I'll do that. Or maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll just actually pull this something like that. So it kind of gives it a better shape. Here it kind of gets lost. So maybe I just need to kind of shift it like that. <clears throat> so that way this branch here kind of has a cool looking silhouette. And then I'll grab these little small branches and I'll just keep kind of placing them all over the place on this tree. And you guys are probably looking at this and like, what the hell's going on here. Uh, the UVs are all messed up. I'll have to re-UV this whole thing, obviously. make it look good right but it is what it is I'll have to do that 
it's not a big deal. Especially when you know, like, when... <clears throat> uh, I'm excited to, uh, to learn Moto, because uh, everyone keeps saying that Moto is, like, the best for UVs. So, uh, but we'll see. I mean, Moto is cheaper than Maya, but it's still quite expensive, and... So we'll see. Is this already... No, it's not. Yeah. So I just need to... It's a bit tough here. Uh... So yeah, this is pretty like tedious work, but it's one of those things where... <clears throat> like, let's see how this looks right now. Obviously, uh, it's already been like 16 minutes already, right? And a lot of people are probably like, well, why would you spend 16 minutes on something like this? But it's definitely worth it. <clears throat> Obviously, right now this looks really hectic going on, but the tree definitely just looks a lot more fuller with more branches in there. Um, you can definitely start to get rid of a bunch of these. Uh, <clears throat> so right now it's just hectic, so I'm just going to turn it off again. And continue to work on just the silhouette here. And like I said, I, you know, once this is all done, I can definitely... This already has three. This already has more than three. I think this one kind of throws it off. Uh, this one kind of doesn't really add to the shape. I think that gives it a more interesting silhouette. So now I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to... That, you know, with anything, it takes a lot of patience. You have to be a lot, really, really patient when you're modeling, because you, you might not, you might not look good right away, and then you have to kind of keep spending time on it. And sometimes it's just hard figuring out, like, okay, well, why doesn't this look good? And that comes with like the artist, the artistic eye. You know, you just need to, to get the artistic eye. You just gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep looking at things. That's again. It comes down to also um, putting the stuff online. You're, you'll get a lot of exposure. You'll get a lot of really good critiques and stuff. So again, this is uh, silhouette-wise. This is kind of like blending in there. So that I think I feel that has a better. gonna change it up and just have that as one because as much as I like uh, this detail that's going on into these branches uh, when I have so many alphas going on from what I from what I was looking at earlier when I turned on back on the alpha branches I couldn't really see what the hell was going on so I don't want to spend too too much time on this if it's not gonna if it's not gonna help this tree out. So. Alright. And then I'm just going to keep doing this for the last branch here. <coughs> Sorry guys, this isn't the most interesting, but at least you guys kind of get to hear my perspective on, and see why I'm doing certain things. Hopefully that's okay. And that's interesting enough for you guys to watch the video. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'd love to like do tutorials right now, but 
I feel like uh, my portfolio is lacking at the moment, and and yeah, it's just it's just shitty. So like my portfolio, I feel is just not strong enough at the moment, and there's just so many things that I want to learn. You know, like I wanted to learn Substance Designer, I learned a bit of it. <clears throat> I want to learn Blender because it's a it's a free software. And I've heard such good things about it that you know it's it's intrigued me. It's, it's piqued my interest now, and I want to see if I can use Blender and replace Blender with Maya. And uh, you know, that's gonna that's gonna be a really frustrating. I think for you guys, it's gonna be frustrating just watching me uh, com go coming from you know a software where I'm just like snapping and modeling like this uh, to a, a software where I'm just struggling for the first couple of, uh, weeks. So, uh, it might be a little bit frustrating for you guys to watch some of that, and I apologize in the future. It's going to be in the near future for sure that I'll be learning some Blender. But hopefully, you know, anyone who does have some tips and stuff can guide me in the right direction. Obviously, uh, my videos are going to be lacking because it's not going to be very good. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so now I'm just gonna look at everything again. Oh, that's, damn it! <clears throat> I remember I put some lights in here, so I was gonna check out my silhouette by pressing seven. So again, this uh, silhouette here is kind of lacking there. So I just uh, just kind of move that. To make sure that silhouette's strong enough as much as I can everywhere. So for now, I think I'll just keep it like that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna save this in case uh, something happens. In my video. Okay. So. This craziness that's going on over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, it's really hard for me to see how this looks like until I actually put it into uh, into Unreal. So I'm just gonna combine everything and just, just throw it into Unreal. I'll show what I'm doing. Uh, Alt D. Uh, exterior, throw it into here. Where's a tree? Dead. <clears throat> Content, uh, props, tree dead. Then in here, just re imported. So now you start to see some more of the trees here, right? It's obviously not UV. I feel like right now these alphas are a little bit too noisy. Some of these trees, I feel like some of the from far away they don't look too bad. But close up, they look they look pretty bad. So for me, I, I just you know it's just little things you gotta rotate things and change things around, play around with scale and stuff like that to make it fit in a little bit nicer. Um, I feel like the tree right now is not very organic. So we'll see and like a lot of this stuff like look at it it's just kind of straight so I'm gonna have to kind of tilt it a bit but I also have to kind of look at it and go okay how like are the trees gonna be the center point of my, of my steam or is it just gonna add to it right so for me it's just gonna 
I take a shot like this. It's supposed to be kind of just be like the background. Like like a shot like this looks great. Whoa, why did my It's probably the the nit map on these, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> I think it's the mid map on these textures, so I'm gonna have to uh, change that. Let's see if I can change that somehow. Um, so the shader. I need to find the texture. The texture. Um, default lit. Tangent double sided. Separate translucent. Probably in my content. Let's look at my textures here. Hmm. What did I call it? Tree bark. LED BIOS. MIP gen settings. From texture group. What's the texture group? Um. So let's go no mip map, see how that... No, that doesn't help it, so... So that wasn't it. Okay, well I'll just leave it for now, until I figure out figure that out. <clears throat> like even right now, the trees aren't... Isn't what's selling my scene, right? It's not the focal point. So it's 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 okay. I mean, like I said, I should put this into into ZBrush and like sculpt it a bit more, give it a better shapes, right? Um, but it comes down to you know, is it necessary, right? Um, <clears throat> I don't like the fact that this is zooming out like that. Okay, so I think I mean. The fence. I'm trying to look at the scene and going, you know, what's missing from here, you know? What is missing in the scene? And then trying to figure that out. So, I'm gonna bring a bunch more of these over here. Because right now it feels pretty barren, to be honest with you. Like, it feels pretty. I should go and play more Diablo and just kind of <clears throat> take a look and see what else is missing or whatever. But I have like wood planks and stuff that I want to put around. Um, I should be making some rocks to kind of just lay around the scene to kind of break up the floor a bit. Um, I have like a little notepad here. Uh, some spider webs. Like, again, you're not really going to see the inside. So I don't. So I don't. I'm not too sure how much I want to invest in time to making some spider webs and stuff. I gotta decide, you know, where where are my shots gonna be. I think if I have a shot here, I'm gonna definitely need some more um, some more tombstones. I'm gonna grab this tombstone here. It's a pretty cool tombstone. Kind of just frame the shot a little bit nicer.
kind of frame this a little bit better. <clears throat> and for this, I'm going to rotate this around a bit so it has a different shape. Kind of lean it a certain way. For this one, I'm going to rotate. Just kind of lean it the other way. Just so that it looks a little bit different. So when you're looking straight down here, you know it's not as bad. It just looks different. It adds that that change in uh, sy symmetry. I need to find like vistas in the back here. Like, what am I gonna put there? I might just make cards back there. Um, not too sure of what yet, but but I'm thinking of some cards back there. <clears throat> Still gotta figure that out. I'll put that as my, my to-do list for sure. Vista. Maybe just cutouts of like other like creps or something. I might do that. <clears throat> I should block that out, actually. <clears throat> Some random creps and stuff. Um. <clears throat> It'll just be like cutout cards. I won't actually be modeling anything too crazy for it, but just something to account for. Um, you're gonna st like there's this really strong jaggedy. It's not very smooth here. I wonder if I can smooth that out a bit. And I and I still need some clouds. That's what I need. I need some clouds. Some clouds still. So the tree for now, I mean, like I said, if it was a bigger focus, I would probably worry more about getting this more polished, but I think at this point, it does its job. It shows some sort of <coughs> vegetation. So I think for now it's 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 fine for what it is. Um, <clears throat> but I think the tree definitely looks better now with some more branches. I actually can't. I wish I took like a screenshot of it. What it would look like before. I felt like it was just so bare, but now uh, with these extra branches in there, it, it, it adds to it. And I didn't even re-UV it yet, because it's, again, from such a far distance, you don't even see it. It doesn't even... <clears throat> you don't even notice that there's issues with it. Those are some rough UVs, or rough normal maps. <clears throat> So I'm trying to think here, you know, like, we definitely need some clouds in the background, like that's definitely missing, I'm missing a lot of ground stuff, a lot of ground stuff, um, <clears throat> I might say what I want to do here. It's definitely missing some ground stuff. Uh, it's definitely missing some vistas. So let's focus on on, a, on the clouds and the vistas. So I'll figure out what I want to do with the vistas. Uh, <coughs> and then I need to like, go back and
wanted to kind of go back in and touch up a bunch of vertex painting stuff, I might have to go and add some more vertices just to kind of make these uh, the vertex painting a little bit I need to hide that smoke <clears throat> but yeah I'll go back and I'll do some more vertex painting and stuff as well I need to add some vertex painting to these stairs kind of add that dirt to it you know that gets been used add some like dirt and moss here as well to kind of show that the moss has been growing up I'll do that. So there's still quite a bit of things to do on the scene, but it's definitely coming along a lot nicely now that we have some trees in here. Um, so, so yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for uh, for watching the video, and um, hopefully I'll catch you guys again next time.